What's going on, everyone? Van over here, Shelter Home Mortgage. I'm sitting down today with my friend, known each other for a long time, Sarah Lee Parker. Mm -hmm. So and I just realized I should be on that side. That's my better side. But anyway, it's do you okay. want to switch sides? It's okay. Okay. That's like when you know, when you're in college, you're in the you picture got your man. Side. I'm like, well, I've always want to be on that side. So yeah. this is going to be your fault if if it doesn't look right. So <laughs> you know, one thing I wanted to ask you. That's actually what I wanted to start with. I want to talk about because not probably not a lot of people know like me. Like your background and your history, like where'd you come from? Where'd you grow up? Oh, it's a it's a lot. I came from Bainbridge, Georgia. We're gonna go way back. Home <laughs> Small of Kirby town, Smart. yeah. Home of Kirby Smart. That, he's like <laughs> he's a big deal. And in the Sarah hometown. Lee yeah, well, I think Kirby kind of. <laughs> rules there. But no, so there to Valdosta State. Funny enough, I worked for a real estate company, the Herndon Company, back in the day. And I was like, a, you know, part-time admin, along with a bunch of other jobs in college. But they did real estate and insurance, all that. And back then, yeah. they said, oh, you should stay and get your license. And that was in the 90s, yeah. 80s, 90s, early 90s. And I was like, no, I'm going to go change the world. So I went and took my communications, public relations uh, degree and okay. got into fundraising and development and marketing and all of that. So I spent about 15 years in that world, worked for organizations like the Red Cross and Emory, and then I worked for a um, consultant know that about company. You. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And then I decided, then I did a renovation. I bought my first house in downtown Decatur, which I should have kept. <laughs> and that has sold. Every time it sells, I'm like, oh, that was a good one. Uh, so bought that, did okay. a renovation. And then got the bug, Andy Bailey. I'll give Andy a shout out. He was my my agent back in the day. And I was like, really? I, I like him. I could do that. Yeah. And so I just took the leap and did it and never looked back. I got my license. I started with a small company called Dwellings, which was a oh, yeah. boutique downtown Decatur. Mm -hmm. I kept my day job for about six months until okay. I couldn't do it anymore. It was 2005. So it was a, it was a big time in the market. And I was... On the road, go and do Made it. Made it happen. <laughs> Made it happen. God, so that's awesome. um, I think I was rookie of the year or something my first year, and then I never stopped. I don't know. I think I feel like that was like yesterday, and I feel like I'm doing the crazy same things that we do yeah. every day. It's, it is old school. Just put your head down and go to work, and, what and a, all about people, really. What a great <laughs> realtor to be your first realtor. Right, right. <laughs> Andy Bailey, he's like a legend. He is. He Love is. And we, we laugh because I'm like, here I am, Andy. You started this of, <laughs> on Drexel Avenue Drexel, whatever, 21 Indiana? years yeah. ago almost. So. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to let you off the hook talking about your stay. I was reading about your stint with the Chi Omega sorority. Oh, yes, I was the president. You know a lot of Chi Omegas <laughs> from West yeah. Georgia. Okay. But okay. anyway, so I good. will say that was probably a really good education, just dealing with people and all the things, even mm -hmm. though I know everybody, like, oh, sorority and fraternity. But it was really it's a, a leadership. It was a leadership role, and mm -hmm. it was good. And it was, I learned a lot about people and dealing with all the different things and personalities yeah. and trying to, and still having fun. Gotcha. Speaking of fun, <laughs> yeah. great segue. So, you know, probably a lot of people maybe don't, you know, your audience, they may not know a lot about you personally just by selling the house or whatever, you know, depends on what happens. Yeah. So what do you love to do for fun? Well, I, when I get some time, it is a lot. Real estate's a lot, especially in the day and age. I, I like the fax machines and the paper folders where I couldn't be communicated with all the time. But yeah. So that's turning it off is the big thing. And that, so I like adventure travel. When I do go somewhere, I like to go somewhere where we're, you know, no, nah, I should relax, but at this point, it's just... <laughs> you can't why? get away from your phone. <laughs> why? So when you can get away and yeah. go in a place that's remote, like a hike or yeah. doing things like that. So I like that. I like the mountains. I like the lake. I like my dogs. I mean, just, you know, Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Just kind of doing things and sitting on a patio or sitting on my porch. Just I love it. Some You know, for fun, that's it. about it. Yeah, I love but it. But hiking and... Probably the being outdoors. I'm an outdoors, yeah. You think that tracks back to your South Georgia roots? Probably a little bit. I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs. You don't like bugs? I love it. I don't like bugs either. South Georgia bugs. South Georgia bugs. South Georgia bugs. bugs. We don't have gnats here, so that's okay. So when I go back down there and I go to an event or something, I'm like, what? What is all this? So, <laughs> I, so I've actually wondered this, and it's on my question list. Okay. But how did the Sarah Lee Parker team 
spawn? Like, how did it get started? Spawn. It was you for a while. And then it was me wow. for a long time. And when I came to, well, okay, so we were at Dwellings, and then we moved to, Dwellings got purchased by a larger company, and we liked the small boutique feel of things. Mm-hmm. So I started with a couple other partners from Dwellings, a couple of the realtors there. We started a small company called, or we opened a, a sanctuary office. There was another one in Midtown anyway, long story, but opened in Emmon Park. So we were there. And then from there, so I was still, we were managing, I was a managing broker, got my broker's license. Okay. And then the 2008 hit. And so then we were there and we stayed very busy still. I mean, people, even though it was the market crashed and all that, people still have to buy and sell. Oh, yeah. So um, we were lean and mean. and But I realized then that I didn't really like managing a lot of agents. And we had like 30 agents in the We were doing everything from a brokerage standpoint. Yeah. a lot going on. And yeah. I really missed the day-to-day with my clients mm-hmm. and smaller scale. So when it was time to renew our lease, we decided to move to Keller Williams. And they had been talking to us for a while and wanted sure. the team, you know, and the group to come over there, here, now. And so in 2012, I joined Keller Williams individually um, okay. as an individual agent instead of, you know, all the things we had done. Kind of start fresh and get back to the yeah. roots of it and what I enjoy. And from there, I started, I hired B Brooks, who everyone loves B and knows B. And she has been my assistant for over 10 years. And she's licensed wow. and she got her license after she was started as my assistant, then got her license. So she does a lot. You know, she, she wears many hats. You know, she can do the day to day. She can also go show property. I grew my team a little larger. I had a, couple, a little bit larger team a couple of years ago and decided again just to kind of go back. Back to the to the face. So we have Keep we're a very small and mighty team. It's, it's myself, B Brooks, Jeremy Trimmer, mm-hmm. and um, he came on board. I guess almost over five years ago, and we all work with buyers and sellers. And then Brandon Barron just joined my team, who is a dear old friend of mine. Moved back to Atlanta, and he yeah, just got his go license. Yeah, right. we go way back to college days. So okay. I like to stick with people I know and trust. And we do hire our marketing out. So an extension of our team is my marketing department, which got I call it. my marketing girl. Girls and Got it. girl power, you know. We have a few boys in there. <laughs> you definitely have a few. You're two and two, right? That's right. All right. Got it. So I know, yeah, you and Brandon go way back, and he's yep. getting into the mix, what, over the past year or so? In the last year, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, 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 you know, Brandon comes from an education background. That's right. My wife comes from an education background. So does B. So does Jeremy. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jeremy. Yep. Yep, Jeremy right. and B as well. She, before that, she worked in the DeKalb County School System for I did many not know years. That. Yeah. You guys are very I well educated team. <laughs> well, teachers and educators make good. They're good with people. They like, they, they figure things out. They can adapt. And I think in one of my profiles way back, I did, I should have been a teacher, but I wasn't so i gotcha. like to i like to teach agents and mentor though i do like that i think you've done well at that <laughs> i'm glad you didn't decide to be a teacher i'm glad that you're an agent so you know you had mentioned things changed in 2008 obviously for everyone and then all of a sudden the market went through this really weird time when you made the move in 2012 i don't know about you but it kind of feels similar to what we're going through this year it does it, and I spoke with a couple of agents recently, and it's funny because in 2008, we could literally say we knew exactly what was wrong. We knew exactly what shifted the market. In this case, in 2024, it was like the water hose just turned off overnight. And we've had a very challenging summer. And while we're still selling and people still have to move, and it just was we went through several years of this kind of frenzy, and then then the rates went up. And it turned it off. But we're starting to see the water hose trickle back on mm. again. Here we are, October 15th, wherever we are right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're starting to see things moving a little bit more and turning back on. And that's typical for an election year and totally all the things and things just in the world that people just get distracted by or want to wait and see and those kind of things. But at the end of the day, People still have to buy and sell, and really, right now is a great time to buy. <laughs> like, Could great. Not say it more. Like, <laughs> what an advantage to buyers yeah, right now. Totally. When it, there hasn't been tons of competition, yeah. there hasn't been lots of multiple offers. Maybe sellers are a little bit more willing to sell. Sure. Right now, so. And that's the thing. Like, if you can buy right now, 
It's a great time. And it will continue to be, I think, through the end of the year until we get in that. What's going to happen is people that have been waiting, they're all going to be back in the market and raring to go. They're New Year's resolutions, and we're going to get back into that frenzy. So, hey, it's a good time. It's going to repeat itself, though, for sure. (laughs) So you've been in real estate for a while. Mm -hmm. You've had a a business career, long business career, 15 years or so just before that, right? So what would your advice be for a rookie agent right now? Like, what are the things that you've kind of built your business on? Like, if you're a brand new agent, what are the things that you need to be doing right now? I mean, really, truly just communication with your with your clients, buyers or sellers, just being honest, knowing the market as much yeah. as you can know. Know your stats. Know right? your stats. It's a thing. But know also, you know, the biggest thing, too, is build your connections with all of the people that you need, like... Daily, like today, I've talked to a waterproofer, I've talked to an appraiser, I've talked to a this, a pest control, Gracious. this and that. And the other. And there's so <laughs> much going on all the time, right. knowing all of that, knowing about inspections, knowing about appraisals, knowing about the comps, everything you can do to just educate yourself. Typically today on a Tuesday is a caravan day for, you know, people, agents are on mm-hmm. caravan and or we host caravans to get people in the door to get right. the agents preview right. properties and things like that. That's so important. Go check out the neighborhoods, understand the market. And there's so many different neighborhoods in Atlanta to just understand what each one of them bring. Be a um, student of the game. Be a student of the game. Just, um, so you know, stick with it. I mean, it's just hard. It's hard, hard every day. I mean, I've been in now 20, almost 21 years and I'm still doing some of the things that I did 21 years ago. It's just, you know, you just have to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like Gary you know, Keller says, right? Like, you should do the work. Literally, do yeah. the work. You do the Man, work. Man, that's, wow, what good stuff. So lighten the mood just a little bit. Yeah. So you've been a part of a, a lot of closings over mm-hmm. the years, right? On both sides. Mm-hmm. Seen lots of crazy stories. What's one of the funniest stories that you can remember from a closing? From a closing? That's interesting. Or even a transaction. A, a transaction. Well, I'll be easy on you. That's it. I don't know. Gosh, there's so many stories. That's the thing. Huh. And I always come to this. It's not even a closing or a transaction. When it was a buyer that I was working with showing property, that's where you kind of get the funniest things. I'm the sure. Most surprising things were, yeah. you know, whether you're walking, can't tell you how many times we've, someone was not supposed to be at the home and you walk in there and they are, and they're in the shower and we, oh, right. hello, things like that. That That's happens classic. a lot. The funniest thing in that same vein though, we were showing property and, and this was kind of early on and I was a little flustered and we're just, you know, you're, there's a lot going on yeah. all the time. You're driving, you're talking, you're doing, and you, we got to this house and there was a sign in the yard. There were two houses kind of side by side and they were a little catty corner. Anyway, there was a sign in the yard in my mind, in both of our minds, there's the house. They look kind of the same, Yeah. What we're, what we're going to see and what we want. So anyway, we get there, we go, and I was like, well, huh, there's no lot box. Let me let me go around the side, as, you know, not even thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you just do your thing. just opened the door yeah. and went inside to look. All of a sudden, the alarm went off. I was like, gosh, what? Well, there's no alarm instructions here. Well, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. And so I just pushed one, two, three, four. The alarm went off. That's I mean, insane. So if I anybody it. gets a, right. you know, go and just try that. Yeah, try one, or two, zero, three, four. Or zero, zero, zero or something. Okay. So then we go in there, and I was like, well, that's so weird. And then she's like, well, I need to use the bathroom. You think it's okay? I'm like, sure, it's probably fine. Yeah. Go ahead. She goes to the bathroom. By while she was in there, I was like, we are in the wrong house. No. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I looked around <laughs> and I looked at my thing. I was like, this looks the same, but it's not the same. And it was someone's house. And so you went in she came house. out of the bathroom. I was like, we got to go. Yeah, we're <laughs> not in like, the right house. The police are coming. it was the funniest thing. And nobody came. We closed the door yeah. back. We left. At the time, there were no cameras out right. now. Now it's a big deal, yeah. But um, we left. And I was like, oh. And we just laughed and just then <laughs> the funniest thing is about 20 minutes later, she goes, I think I left my coat in that no. bathroom. I was like, no, <laughs> she didn't. Well, and she didn't. And okay. later we found she didn't bring it, but she panicked and thought she yeah. left it in the bathroom. We have anyway, Amazon now. I'm going to buy you one. We're I don't going even back remember in. the address. I kind of know the area. It was somewhere in Decatur. Hilarious. So that was kind of funny. That's good stuff. <laughs> I mean, you haven't I mean, been a realtor unless you went in the wrong house, right? right. right? Shut their alarm it's like off. A, yeah, right of I passage, mean. I guess, right? So, okay, so kind of wrapping things up, yep. you know, you're just such a genuine person. You're so kind, and everybody loves you're you. Sweet. So, you are, you are right back at you. Oh, thank you. What, so, this is kind of a hard question, but I know you're, you roll with it. Like, you mm-hmm. know, what is your why? Like, why did you choose real estate? I know you love people. You're so good with people. Right. Like, you know, what kind of keeps getting you up in the morning to just keep <laughs> pounding it out? Well, 
And that's a good question. You know, it's uh, my commitment to the people. I take so many things personally. Like I take it, like I am there with them and I worry. I mean, I go, I worry and I take on their worry to my fault. Sometimes to a bad, it's not great. I understand but, that. you know, I think part of that is I'm a people pleaser and I want to make it, you know, once I commit to something, I want to see it through. And mm. whether that's now my sellers, my builders, my clients, I work with a lot of builders right now. And so committing to that and making sure we see the finish line and doing the things that need to be done, but also also representing on the buyer side or even the buyers who buy our builders time, making sure we're delivering a good product and stand behind what we do. But it's more about, it's just that. My why in real estate, what gets me up is just the commitment. Long term, I want to, it's that old adage of what is it, a career worth having and a life worth living. Having, that's the Keller Williams motto, I guess. But wow, that's good. Having my own, being able to have this business that has allowed me also to invest in property. So invest in, you know, passive income and helping my clients do that. It's been fun. Like I have some friends who have just recently bought an investment property or cabin. I have a cabin that I use and I rent. So helping them do the thing, same things that I'm doing or rental property properties or right. renovation projects, those things are kind of my next step that I want to do myself. And I've Love done it. all that and help people do that, my clients do that, but I can also teach people how to do that as well. Wow. So. Well, it's obvious that it's personal. It comes all off of you, which, you know, is why people love you. I just wanted to say you didn't have to do this, and well, but you did. And yeah, this is great. I love this because not all the time do people get to see the personal side of you. I mean, sometimes they do, especially your repeat yeah. clients right. and your Brandons. Like, they know yeah. they love you. But I just wanted to say I'm very grateful that you took the time. I know you were putting out fires, and there's a thousand <laughs> things you could have been doing today. Well, no, this is good. It kind of helps me put things in perspective. Yeah. It's it's always a good refresh to talk about something like this and and remember where you came from and why you do it because it every day, whew, the day I've had you know from one thing or another, <laughs> every day is something different. Yeah, I'm I mean, sure it, it turned on his head a time or two. I know mine <laughs> so, did earlier today, but um, it gives me a little bit of grounding, so I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for your time. This has been awesome, and we definitely need to have a recap on this another time. <laughs> but we'll talk about some okay. other fun stuff. That'd be so. great. Cool. Thanks. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.